What's going on my friends? Just a quick video today. I caught this debate on TikTok yesterday. I was able to record a, you know just a few minutes of it. I will share with you. Now there is a, a second part coming but it's not with this pilot. I have seen this pilot before and this is another video I recorded of him. I truly believe this guy has some anger issues. I was actually going to name the title of this video The Pilot with Anger Issues. He really needs to resolve this problem. But anyway, let's go ahead and listen. I, wanna, I want you guys to listen to this debate. I will stop and comment as we go forward. Here's, here's Marco again. Yep, Angels. What's up? So, as you know, I am a qualified commercial pilot. Yep. What you just said was bullshit. Oh, really? What, what did you, I say? What, what, what you did just I said say? was bullshit. What was it? What did oh, I say? That was bullshit. Gosh. What you, you just said is complete what's bullshit, what's bullshit and complete oh, misinformation. For God's sake! You will never, ever, ever see the apparent horizon above the moon. You will never see it. Here I have four videos contradicting what Michael has just said. As you will see, the moon below the horizon, either filmed by the pilot or by passengers. Can someone help explain how on this flight the moon is below the horizon? By quite some way. Uh, remote reading um you said you said you don't dip or our magnetic compass you said you don't dip the, the nose down we right? don't dip the nose because so how come our, again, wait, wait, second, again, again you're not it's paying attention to no you're not paying question. attention champ because you're going to get these attention because our altitude our distance above mean sea level never fucking changes when we're at cruising altitude unless we're climbing and descending the distance between us is this and level, is this sea, sea level, level is this sea level lower or higher than here? Lower than higher? Than, no. Oh, so the it's mean equal, sea level ch doesn't change. That's what the word on, mean stands on, for. On, it's on. an average sea level. One second. It's equally as valid for me to just say you're not nosing down. You're flying straight and level over a flat Earth. You're not flying over. A flat earth so you're not so actually your nose relative okay, so to hang on hold up no 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 you're trying to you're trying to argue semantics no, what is the definition of above no, mean sea level what is the definition of above mean sea level it takes the same, into consideration same, same curvature of the earth same altitude. it takes consideration you know, you know, of the curvature of the earth <laughs> yeah, I'm sure. Go look up what is what above mean sea okay, level not, is. It's, it's altitude. Don't, right? don't, no, no, no. Above mean sea level. Same Go altitude, it right? You said it Go before. look it up. You said it Go before. look it up. Now, I don't need to look it up because I already know that they have, in, especially in English language, they have changed it from straight and level to just level. Gladly speaking three languages. Uh, we haven't changed that, for example, in Portuguese. Okay, level still means straight, flat. It doesn't change in Spanish, it doesn't change in Portuguese, it doesn't change in Japanese. But in English now, level doesn't mean straight and level. It means curved. Crazy stuff, they have changed the meaning.
But anyway, just listen to this flight instructor explaining straight and level. The next secondary control surface we will look at is the tabs. These are the primary control surfaces of an aircraft. The tabs are installed on the trailing edge of the primary control surface. Let's look at the horizontal stabilizer to understand the working of tabs. For efficient flying, the aircraft must be flown straight and level, which means the aircraft needs to be trimmed for level flight. The pilot, however, cannot keep holding the control stick forward throughout the flight, so the trim tab becomes useful. Once the tab is deflected up, the elevator gets deflected down and the tab is locked in this position. The aircraft is now trimmed because the elevator will maintain level flight without any pilot input. And the tab is locked in this position. The aircraft is now trimmed because the elevator will maintain level flight without any pilot input. Okay, Marco, is this line here? If you're flying around the globe, is this line here curved, Marco? Marco, when you maintain the same altitude around a globe, is this line curved? The line curves because we're taking into consideration the curvature of the Earth. Really? So, so that yes, means the nose fucking is really. So we the take nose gets down. We do not need to nose down at all. What? <laughs> so how come you don't gain altitude? All right, then? angels. You know what? How come you don't gain, how come you don't gain altitude? He got cooked. He can't even debate me. He said this line is curved, right? So his plane takes this path. His, his, his compass, his, his gyroscope, maintains his jittity in space. He never goes down. Yeah, he's saying he's taking this path, but he's not nosing down. The plane flies straight, but also curved. Great job, Marco. Thank you for the clip. So at this point, Marco left the debate and then soon Angel left as well because Michael had left. So Michael came back after Angel and he, this girl asked her a couple of questions and Michael explained the, how airplanes adjust for the curvature and I want to touch on that. So let's hear what Michael has to say here. When we are flying, we're flying on pressure. We're flying on a pressure altitude, i.e distance above the ground relative to air pressure, air density and air pressure. If you look at it from a long distance away, the, cur sorry, the aircraft is going to be curving around. The problem with Michael's uh, interpretation is that air pressure is based on temperature. So the temperature can be the same up to 2000 miles. So that means the air pressure also will remain the same up to 2,000 miles, from 200 up to 2,000 miles. So here we see that the air pressure uh, above the flat earth is just like an ocean, you know, like the waves of an ocean, goes up and down, up and down. That's why an aircraft will be flying as, is, you know, constantly up and down, but it's straight and level. Minor adjustments for the air pressure, but in areas like up to 2,000 miles at the same temperature, the air pressure remains the same. That's why Brazilian pilots do not use this argument when explaining how they fly around a supposed globe Earth. They do not use air pressure because like I cross the equator flying from the US to Brazil, and also flying along the equator from the east coast of South America towards the Pacific, we fly along the equator. We fly with the same air pressure, the same temperature for two hours. So there is no change in temperature. The only way that it can keep straight and level is flying over a flat, non-rotating earth. Otherwise, the pilot would have to do this manually. This is the altimeter used to measure air pressure and height above the ground. The higher the altitude is, the lower the air pressure will be regardless if one live on a ball or on a flat earth. Once the pilot reaches the desired altitude, the tabs lock the elevators, trim, and the aircraft will fly straight and level to its destination. On a ball earth, the elevators cannot be trimmed due to the fact that the aircraft has to to keep on pitching the nose of the airplane down due to the supposed curvature of the earth. On the flat Earth, there's no constant pitching down the nose of the aircraft. It also matches reality. When flying dead reckoning, 
No such adjustments for curvature of the Earth have ever been recorded in 120 years of aviation. So this is all, guys. Uh, I will upload another part. Uh, the park is not in the second part, but I will soon upload the second part of this debate. Take care. See you next time. Bye-bye. Don't waste any more time. Visit the links above now and order my book 16 Emergency Landings Proving Flat Earth. Visit my online store now and order the new enhanced Gleason's Flat Earth map. This map used to be in every school and library in the nation before NASA was created in 1958, when the maps were ordered removed. Have your Gleason's map hanging on the wall in your house, where no government can take it down. Here you see it hanging on a wall in the house of the late Charles K. Johnson. Here is a quote from the book 1984 by George Orwell. Every record has been destroyed or falsified. Every book rewritten. Every picture has been repainted. Every statue and street building has been renamed. Every date has been altered. And the process is continuing day by day and minute by minute. History has stopped. Order your map now.